project I'm still working on is the Snow Queen gown. And now I wanted to focus on the hip pad in order to get this typical shape at the waistline. I found a pattern from 1903 and it was a pattern, so I just really liked the star shape. I thought it would fit really good to the um, theme of the whole gown. So I recreated it in Claude 3D and draw the pattern of it and had a look if it might fit and I thought I would try it. I used a somewhat strange material I had laying around. I don't know what it was, it's just a cotton and cut out all four pieces I needed. So I've just finished the star part of the pattern and I left this part here open so I can fill it. And now I have to sew this darts together and then close this. But I wasn't satisfied with the seam. It was too loose. There were too big gaps. So I decided to re-sew the whole thing with my sewing machine because I just had finished it and could work with it. So I am still not used how to use the treadle, but slowly but surely I think I will get used to it. This time the seam was much better, so I decided to go on with sewing it on the machine. And here I'm pinning together the darts of the round shape of the pattern and sewed them with the machine too. to see how much rounder it has gotten. Afterwards I made knots on all the thread ends because I was afraid that they might get loose and all the seams fall apart. Then I sewed together both parts. I left a gap in the sewing so that I could fill it. Afterwards I decided to wash the pieces because the sewing machine was still a little bit oily and the thread which came from the knees was a little bit dirty so I decided to wash it because when it's filled I can't wash it anymore. Then I put it to dry and afterwards ironed the whole thing so that it would be nice and flat once I fill it. But before that I had to turn around the pieces and I used a crocheted needle to really push the edges out to the sides. And then I cut all the seam allowance so that it wouldn't create a bulk at the seam line. And again I turned it around and used the crochet hook in order to really make the points pointy. These are the bonus pieces turned around and now I went on testing if the pattern piece of the lace I will make um, still fits to the other pieces and it seemed to be okay. Now I was wondering if I use some old scraps I have cut up or some raw cotton wool because I have both and with the cotton wool it looks prettier because the fabric is white and it shines through. On the other hand I wanted to use the leftover fabric 
and I decided to go first with the cotton wool and put it into the edges so that they are really pointy and then fill the middle part with the scraps and I tried to put a layer of the cotton outside so that the darker pieces won't be seen that much and you can see here I really stuffed it a lot I put a lot of fabric in there and the same I did for the um, outer ring and again I used the crochet hook to really push it to the edges and then I was just feeling if it's right. I hope that it would be enough material. And then I went on and crocheted the part I wanted to use for the middle part. It's more or less a decorative part and I found a pattern with, with which reminds me of some stars so I used that and tried to fit it onto the pattern piece but the first try went well, not so good. It was too small and I couldn't stretch it into the right position. So I procrastinated on this for a moment and instead sewed the other pieces together so they were close and the filling won't spill everywhere anymore. And here they are, the two pieces sewn together, one with an invisible stitch and the other with a little uh, cord on the outside because I knew that there will be the waistband and it's not that important how it looks. And here I'm singing while crocheting. I won't let you hear what I'm singing because it's scary. This time it worked, the net fits to the pattern not 100% but it's big enough to stretch it and here I'm testing again if it fits and right now it doesn't. I tried it if it's better if all pieces are together but still it's a little bit off. It's not the right shape. I have to pull the edges really long so I decided I will first steam the whole thing to see if it works when it's like the pattern suggested and here I'm putting in the needles that I can really pull it into the shape of this piece and usually you shouldn't iron crochet uh, lace or knitted lace because then you flatten down the stitches and it just doesn't look that nice so usually you steam it you can see now it's staying in its shape as it should so then I decided to go on and sew a binding onto the bum pad. I decided to use a dark blue like I used on the corset, just in order to give it a colored accent and fit to the whole rest of the outfit. Then I sewed on the star. Each tip of the star is uh, sewn to one of the darts of the outer ring. That was actually explained in the pattern, so I decided to go for it and make it like it was suggested. Then I sewed on the waistband, I just used a band I had laying around. In hindsight I think it's too thick, I should have used something thinner and I will change that in the future, probably. And then I went on and sewed in the lace. I had decided that I just stay with the shape as it is and make the best of it and it almost fit. It's a little bit too big in the end, I don't know. I always thought it was too small, now it's a little bit too big but it's okay. It's a little eye catcher and actually it doesn't have any structural importance. Well and then I cut into my bum pad. I was a little bit too tired, I just brighted a little star on that point so that there won't be a hole anymore. And well, that's the bump pad at its then state and I wasn't happy with it. I already have quite a hip and I don't need that much padding. So I decided I will go with less and just remove a lot of the padding. I removed much in the outer ring, not that much on the star itself, because I thought the star was almost okay, the outer ring was just way too much. 
And once I was somewhat pleased with the look now, I closed the holes again. I could see in the sketches of the pattern that there were top stitches on the outer line of the ring. So I tried to sew it and with my old machine it just didn't work. The thread broke every third stitch. So I decided I switch on to my modern machine. And well, I had the same problem with that machine. No, I had the problem that it sewed, but it didn't sew. I could pull the thread out with ease. Then I decided Okay, now I go on and sew it by hand. So I took a linen thread and sewed it together. But I wasn't that happy with that decision because it took ages, but I realized it is possible. Before I thought it was just not possible because with both machines I had that much problems. Then I decided to remove the sewing because I had an idea. And it was actually the old machine which gave me this idea. The machine has at the back side a plate where different needle thicknesses are displayed. And I thought, why would you use a thicker needle? And then I realized, yeah, well, of course, for thicker material, and maybe I need a thicker needle. So I grabbed the thickest needle I had and put it into my modern machine and tried it once again. And this time it worked. I had so slowly, but it worked. And well, sometimes an old machine can do new stuff, obviously. <laughs> so I went on and sewed a second line, this time with the blue thread in order to give that accent color. And sometimes I had just to sew really, really slowly, because still the material was really thick, especially at the edges. And again, I thought it was finished. But I wasn't. I wasn't happy with the shape. It just flared to the sides so much. It looked strange. So I went on and folded a part of the ring upwards in order to get the whole thing closer to the body. Then I marked how much material I want to remove and remove the sewing I had done before because well, if I want to change it, I have to remake it. I cut off this part I had marked before, removed the top stitching, removed some of the filling, and turned the seam allowance inside and sewed it back together. And I was happy with the changes, it just looked neater. Then I sewed the net back on and also the band and repaired the top stitching. I had removed a couple of centimeters, so I now with the hand remade the stitches. I made little knots on the back side, which will hopefully never be seen. Then I went on and did the, exactly the same thing to the other side, first measuring if I have marked the same length. And here it is. Well, no, I tried if I like these little points where the material is pulled together like it was marked in the pattern, but I didn't like it in reality. It just looked too wrinkly. I just wanted it to be really clean. So I removed these points and that's it. The next step will be a petticoat so that you can see how this bump pad works underneath a petticoat. Until then, you can watch the videos of the other layers I already have done. Bye!